Welcome back to my channel, Teresa Love here. Thank you so much for clicking, it means so much. If you could also like this video, that would really help out my channel. I just hit 171 subscribers and I'm beyond grateful for all of you. Thank you for watching and I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. That's the little red button at the bottom. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about this awesome new health update I have for you guys. One year and seven months ago, my life was flipped upside down. I went from driving and volunteering at my church and going to school and hanging out with my friends and doing everything myself to barely being able to get out of bed. I was so sick, so lightheaded, nauseous, dizzy, fainting, chest pain, vertigo. I felt like I had the flu 24 seven. When you get sick and you have the flu, your body hurts, you're lightheaded, you're sick, you're like, you get up for like two minutes and you're so weak you cannot even function. That is exactly how I feel when I'm sick. I've been sick for a year and seven months now, straight. It started out episodic where I would be sick for like two days, three days, a week, two weeks, a month, until it just progressed all the way up to a year and seven months now and it hasn't stopped. It's been the most difficult thing I have done ever, and I have done chemotherapy. It's been the most emo it's taken such an emotional toll on my family, my life, my friends. And I was in a very, very dark place a year ago when I realized I was sick for a year. I want my channel to always be the light. I want you to watch my videos and not cry. I want you to see the positivity and the light shine through me. Um, I'm a Christian and Jesus calls us to be the light like he is the light of the world. And I want that to show through these YouTube videos. I want you to connect with me. I want you to talk to me. I want you to be able to share your day and if I have any advice to be able to help you or just talk to you. I felt so lonely and afraid when I was so sick and so depressed. Unfortunately, I am still sick. Um, the difference is my attitude has switched. I am seeing a counselor and on antidepressants and I am able to see light and hope in over any circumstance. And I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome ME and POTS, they told me, change your lifestyle. Salt, liquid, shower chair, walker, wheelchair when you go out. And that'll be your life. You're gonna just live your life like that and have to work around everything. And that hit me so hard in the beginning, but then I accepted it. I was like, okay, well, I'm sick for however long. I'm in the season of my life and I'm sick and my parents will help me and I'll be living at home and I'm gonna have to just deal with this. Um, I had a crazy amount of symptoms. One of them was swelling over my whole body. My hands are swollen to the notches. So the doctors pretty much said, you can try a bunch of medication to band-aid the problems. Like if you're dizzy, take anti-dizzy medication. If you're nausea, nausea if you're nauseous, take anti-nausea medication. And I didn't want to be on all those pharmaceutical drugs. First of all, I know it's not good for my body. And second of all, I tried so many and I had so many bad side effects. So my mom is super awesome and she's always researching and trying to figure out how to make me better and different things I can take and different things I can try to try to help me feel better or get a little better. So she started reading about Chinese medicine. And at first I was super, super apprehensive. I do not like needles at all. 
and I did not want to do Chinese medicine. I just didn't want to try anything. I didn't really know what it was. And I really knew how my life was going, knew how my mornings and my days looked, and I didn't want to change it. I want to get better. There's literally nothing more I want than to feel better and to be healthy again. But when I want and want and push and push, I just stress myself out to the limit of, oh, I'm not better another month. Oh, I'm not better another month. Oh, I'm not better another month. And it just doesn't help. So I've just learned to accept it. So recently I decided to do Chinese medicine. And my aunt who has chronic fatigue syndrome, she started acupuncture years and years ago and it helps her. But now she recently started herbs with the Chinese medicine doctor and that's helping her like 75% better. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. So we went and I was like, I'm for sure not doing acupuncture. There is no way you are putting needles in my body. I'm not doing acupuncture. But I talked to the lady and we told her about my problems and she said, I'll, you know, I'll do acupuncture and then I'll also do acupressure, which is like this hard, hard, hard massage. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do acupuncture. And she was like, but it'll help. You'll have more energy. And I was like, you know what? I said to my mom, I was like, I'm not gonna, when I was there, I was like, okay, you can do acupuncture. Because as much as I was scared and terrified, I knew that if I had this option to have some type of healing, and then I say, oh no, I only want to do half of what you prescribe, then I'm not really giving it my full effort and she's not really able to fix me in the way that I want. So she started out pushing super, super hard on my legs and my feet and my hips and literally everywhere, my neck, and she's pushing super hard, like it hurt, like I was crying it hurt so bad. And she was like, it'll help if you hold the pain then next time it'll be better, and next time it'll be better. And so she pushes super hard and like shakes me pretty much. And then she also does acupuncture. She does um, a needle here, a needle here, some in my stomach, two, one on each foot, and then on my shin. And she does one on top of the head. And then she has you lay there for 30 minutes. So I laid there for 30 minutes. And then she came back and she took the needles out and then she continues the pushing and the like, it's like acupressure, but it's like acupressure hard massage. So she did that. And I was, afterwards, I was very dramatic and like, I don't know if I wanna go back. Like that hurts really bad. I did not wanna deal with that. But she was like, try three times and see how it goes. So she wanted to do twice a week. So we go twice a week and maybe we've been like six times at this point and I look at my ankles and my legs and I'm like my swelling's going down like I can see my ankles my feet are not as big I fit in shoes that I haven't been able to wear and then just a few days ago I was able to wear leggings that I haven't been able to wear because they before they were like cutting off my circulation and so I was like it's helping it's actually helping my chronic fatigue swelling and I started to get really excited still apprehensive because I'm not like, wow, she's gonna fix me, but really happy that it's helping. It's helping swelling, it's helping some energy. I have a little bit more energy. Like I had my appointment today, and then afterwards my mom and I, with my walker, went to Alta, and I was able to sit and look at stuff there, and then now I'm filming a video. So I do have a lot more energy. My friend who I hadn't seen in a little while was like, wow, we've actually been up for a little while when normally we're just laying around and hanging out and she's like you're you do have more energy and I'm like I think so so I have more energy my swelling is down and I have a lot more motivation I just feel like I want to film and I want to do my makeup every day and I want to do a craft and I just have a lot more hope I just have a lot more motivation and hope and having that hope is huge because it makes me not cry all the time and it makes me want to organize my nail polish and want to organize my makeup. Like, I just set up this makeup thing, if you can see it, and it's all organized and all cute and that was just really fun for me, but I had the energy to set it up. And I did my nails the other day 
and I was able to do it sitting up. So I do see a bunch of changes. It's definitely working. Um, I've probably almost gone like eight times now and I will continue doing it. I have to do it twice a week and it does hurt, but I learned I take Advil and I take a half a Xanax so that I'm just calm and that seems to help too. If you're chronically ill or you have someone who has symptoms of chronic illness or are chronically ill, I just want to say there's hope and there's a possibility to just change one symptom. If I can change my swelling, that makes my body positivity better. It makes me happy when I'm in a shirt and feel comfortable. It makes me, you know, happy to take Instagram pictures or, you know, it makes me excited. And that's just one symptom and it's helped. And if it can help my dizziness too, like, I'm able to be up longer, then just that's just one thing. So if there's just one thing it can help and bring my body back into balance and just help me be more functioning and more of a excited and strong person, then I wanna try it. And so I go twice a week and I will continue going twice a week until she says once a week, but I really do feel like it's helping and if you have the ability to go and you're chronically ill or you get migraines or you have back problems or any other problems like that, I would definitely try it because I was a skeptic. I did not want to do it and I am very happy that I did and that I pushed forward and persevered. Comment down below if you have a chronic illness and you're just looking for community. I would love to talk. My Instagram is always open on at TeresaLoves3 and I really just want my channel to be a light and a positive corner of the internet for us to talk about beauty and lifestyle and God and chronic illness because that's what I'm dealing with and books and just so many different things. Thank you so much for watching. That was my Chinese medicine health update. I really hope to see you in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.